With just a few simple ingredients, we have the option to make something that has huge benefits and is quite expensive, without having to buy it in a store. With only the addition of silicone and the main ingredient, namely WD-40. Now we prepare the silicone sealant first. Now I'll put in the silicone sealant first. Just enough. Next, we spray liquid 40 onto the silicone sealant. This step is important to soften and prepare the silicone for easy application. Now I'll stir it first so that the combination is even. It seems like the mixture is quite even. Now I prepare the other ingredients, namely thinner liquid. I poured it into a glass aqua bottle first. And now we add the other ingredients. I first dip the styrofoam in thinner. I add more and I dissolve it. I stirred it again so it was really even. Prepare the other bottle first. Now, I'll make it into three parts first. One, two, three. This one is a liquid from a combination of silicone sealant and WD-40. And the other three are just thinner and a mixture of dissolved styrofoam pieces. Now I add another basic ingredient, namely cement. I stirred it first until it was really even and ready to use. I stirred it for a while to get the perfect combination. It's thick enough! Now I try to apply it first to the floor that has cracked from the previous element. Now we apply it sufficiently. Later, you can see the results yourself. I really try to apply it as much as possible. You can see, application is truly even. Next, since it's already evenly distributed, now we just need to wait for it to dry. Now let's prepare the other ingredients first. Now I will divide the wooden board into three parts. These three parts will eventually give us options. Now the wooden board that we made into three parts is ready. It's time for action. These are the materials used. These three ingredients will give us a choice. We start from one. I first put a little paint into a bottle containing thinner and styrofoam. Now I stir it. It doesn't take long and the liquid immediately becomes runny. Here are the interim results. Each bottle has different contents. Now let's try applying one to one piece of wood first.
In this section, you have several options to choose which combination is the best and cheapest. So the part I applied was the thinner and foam part. Now moving on to other ingredients. This is a mixture of WD and silicone. I apply it to the part first. And the last one is styrofoam and paint are the same. Well now we can see for ourselves the three parts of the wood. These three results are funded with the same capital. Now I'll dry the wood first. After it dries, you can see the results yourself. Oh yes, the purpose of this video is to see which options we can follow. Back to the cemented floor for a moment. Look now. The results are truly maximum. Really strong. The combination is amazing. Super strong. You can see the results yourself. Now that the wood is dry, let's try discussing it to see the results. You can see the results yourself. Like taro leaves, they don't absorb water all at once. The part of the wood that was painted is really good tapis. And now I'm trying on another part. The wooden surface is coated with thinner and styrofoam only. But you can see, right? The wood part is really water repellent. We spray again and again. The results are truly satisfying. You can choose any option to suit your needs, as all three combinations are equally effective and truly have a significant effect. It's really like a taro leaf, waterproof, doesn't absorb water. Let me dry it in the sun first. Let's see if it absorbs water. After a few minutes, the water is still on the wood. The quality is really running. Now it's your job. Thank you for watching.